Well, top of the morning to you. I was uh, yesterday, uh, I was at, today is July 5th, yesterday is July 4th, and I was at the uh, uh, International African Arts Festival, the, the African Street Festival, uh, up there in Brooklyn, you know, Barry Common Park, well, right in Brooklyn Navy Yards now, that's where it's located. When it was the African Street Festival, it was at the Boys and Girls High School. Uh, anyway, there's a whole history behind that. So I just want to tell you some of the things I picked up, right? Uh, first, let's start with, oh, strangely enough, it's, a, it's an international festival. People come from all over the, the world, I suppose, you know, all, um, um, African people, black people. And uh, so they come from all over the world. So uh, when uh, I'm in New York now, of course, but uh, my uh, residence, I guess you would say that if I have a residence in the States, is uh, in Virginia Beach. What am I talking about? Uh, Chesapeake, which is close to Virginia Beach. I'm saying Virginia Beach because... Uh, there was this brother here selling selling stuff, herbs, right? He's uh, actually he was born in Chesapeake, but he has this shop now in, in uh, Virginia Beach, uh, the uh, this one here, the uh, Herbal Market Wellness Center. I met my, I knew about it, but I never, you know, whatever. Anyway, I met him. I said, "Oh, you from?" I told him where I was from. He says, "Oh, blah blah." So I bought this. Don't worry about what it is. I just bought it. <laughs> so I got this from him. Uh, so when I go down, I'll, be, I'll visit him. I like the guy. You know? um, well, he's a wheelchair. I don't know what that thing's. I'll ask him about that. Uh, uh, also, with that, uh, well, let's show you some of the stuff I got. Um, I got this. Uh, I need. I don't know. This is a body wash. I thought it was. Um, uh, I got the wrong thing. I wanted lotion. You know. Well, you mess up. I thought that they had, anyway, I was looking at the wrong thing. Anyway, it's a body wash. So I guess I'll use it sooner or later. I right? don't know how. don't like to carry stuff. Oh, I also got uh, this thing that you can take a teaspoon at a time. It's a, uh, well, they call it, I guess they call it a tonic. I don't know what they call it. But it has 100% uh, organic turmeric, ginger, lemon, lemongrass. It should be really good in the morning, so I'll take this in, in a while. Uh, you only take a little sip. You know, make it's concentrated, but I don't want to dilute it. I want it to go to my, I want it to go to my organs. You know, through my system. You know, starting in the, through the stomach into the gut, and uh, be absorbed correctly. Um, I got some. Uh, oh, I had these. Um, of course, I drank and you know, well, drank. I mean, you know, uh, uh, juices and what they have there. And uh, I had this uh, vegan uh, situation. I don't have their thing. Oh, it's in my stomach, you know. So that's, yeah, so I had two things, and I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Um, and I also, uh, this juice these guys make, and they only sell on the street or whatever have you. And they're, anyway, this is their, their stand, usually outside this thing in Brooklyn. This is their stand outside in Brooklyn. What? Uh, and that's on uh, Fulton Street. Uh uh, 1396 Fulton Street, uh, and this is the, I guess, oh, uh, Nicholas Brooks Brooklyn dot com is the, I don't know what's the, oh here, this one right here, well whatever, that's the, I guess they have another location, so I don't know whatever, that's their guys, so I got that, um, what else do they eat? That's what. Uh, I, I eat a lot. I eat a lot. I drink water. Oh, well, I had oh, I had another juice. Uh, I had sugar cane juice. Yeah, you know. Uh, somebody was handing this 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 fly out. Kind of interesting. So uh, film it's supposed to be online soon. So we got that. Well, and uh, oh, uh, the day before on the third, I went and uh, to this thing for G two O. You see. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, they named the plaza after G. T. Lewis, who was one of the founders of that's right, the uh, uh, African Street Street Festival, who's now become the International African Arts Festival. It was a, it was a huge contingent. Oh, you, it's a lot of um, uh, uh, NOI Nation of Islam folks out there. Um, you know, uh, like those are, and, um, and they they give out final call. You know, it's, that's the thing. You know. That kind of thing, you know. Um, but I guess, well, they give out the final call. But I have to get this uh, one because they have a picture of, or well, their article. 
you know, just be a rehash. They don't do a whole lot of, you know, journalism, let's put it that way. Um, and so this is Kenneth Kunda, who uh, I met one time, shook his hand, yeah, when I was at the University of Cape Town. He was, he was speaking there, uh, like that. I showed you the house. Oh, 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 wait a second. And then I had this idea, not idea, but what happened was sooner or later I'd go down to Chesapeake visit my uh, grand nephew or visit the family. Uh, uh, my grand nephew, so now I've, he's two years old now, just turned two in April. Uh, but when he was, yeah, when he was one, when he turned one, I gave him a, a, a comic book, you know. Um, uh, Lily, well, I was a model for the cover. It doesn't matter. I gave him a comic book. Of course, when you can't read, it, but it's it's um, a book. But it's a book that you can. Uh, no, not comic book. It was a storybook, um, and uh, it's about this. Well, it's about this. Uh, it's, it's a story from uh, Southern Africa, and it was really good. But also they had music in it, so you can you know you, there's a song that they sing, and so it was a um, uh, who was a Pete Seeger wrote it, so you can I guess play along with this this being there, right? So I so since then start this second when I go down there, I start this little library. You know what I mean? I'm going to. Then, uh, since I was the thing, there's these, uh, this brother selling uh, comic books, you know, original comic books. So I figured, well, I'll support the brothers. And then, you know, these are the first editions, so maybe something like that he'll be interested in. So the uh, issue number one of this guy's thing, this is being called Kirk. This is a cover for issue number one, right? Uh, and of course, this is the not going to stay on this side. And this is uh, the hero, I suppose. It's a dude. Hey. My grandnephew is a dude, so I guess it's good for him. Um, then, of course, we have issue number two, like that. Huh? Let's see what the quality is inside. Ooh. And it's, it's like this, so it's really good for him. You know, when he gets of age and he can really, and it's very simple, of course. You know, you got to start out small, you know, who knows, you know, maybe years from now, by the time he starts to, you know, read and appreciate these things, the, the, the uh, folks will grow, you know, so there's issue number three, like that, check out the inside there, oh yeah, very basic, very good, good drawings, Let's see what happens, very, very male, very male orientated, which is good, <laughs> hey, in my world it's good, okay. This is, and this is the fourth issue. I think this is the last one they, they have. I, oops, look at this one too. Oh my God. Oh, they do have a sister. This particular one. Oh, yeah, please sit there. So the death is there. So I got that. Did I tell you about, oh, I got that. Oh, and uh, I was trying to hook up with some people that spoke. Anyway, Grayson, I saw Grayson. At the same time I saw him the last time, which was two years ago, out there on the field where the music is playing, you know, and so uh, he was doing some stuff, and I walked up to him and said, ah, blah, 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 blah. So we was trying to walk, and he's trying to find something. Um, and so he started walking, and we it went to the, how many people, right? And now this is the series, um, uh, it's historical, you know, about black, black history kind of series. And it, you know, it has people like uh, Dr. Langer, Dr. Oh, Professor James Small. Now that's the whole thing. We just missed James. They said that James had just left. I was like, oh man, I was devastated because I hadn't seen James in a while and, and Grayson hadn't seen James in a long time. So anyway, so he's in there. A bunch of the Dr. Wayne Nobles, uh, the, the kind of a bunch of things. But you have the other, well, I won't get into these other kind of other people there. So I wanted to support their series and they have good information, you know? And I bet the guy that's usually the, uh, what do you call that, the uh, narrator for his thing. Oh, back to the hurt people. He also, this guy, the guy that I guess, Lanier Menjaz is the guy. He created the comics, and he has another one, uh, She Fly. I didn't get that one. I probably should have, uh, but I didn't get it. So that's this guy's name. And in case you're interested, that's his phone number down there. Just in case you're interested in, uh, you know, I'm just trying to talk to him, I suppose. Oh, and that was it. And talking to Grace Grace is always interesting. Um, we went, went went back together because he lives on, uh, you know, up there on Washington Heights, and I'm crashing now. We'll crash him at the, uh, the International Hostel. I like this place, you know, because my regular thing, uh, it's not there, but his, uh, you know, somebody else is there for, for a while. So I can't get back there until uh, October, I think, yeah, October, month of October 4th. 
before I leave. We'll see what happens. Um, but but, but Grayson, years ago, years ago, yeah, years ago, Grayson was telling me, you know, what he does in the morning, he drinks a lot of water, like almost like, a, I guess, a liter, no more than a liter, or a, a lot of water, over a liter of water every morning, you know what I mean? And, you know, water cleanses your system, and it's also good because, you know, it, 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 it makes sure your, your gut keeps on flowing things out. So, uh, and I drink water during the day, but now in the morning, like, for instance, this is a, uh, I want to, uh, this is a, uh, what I don't need to answer this, but it, I'm sorry, this is that uh, 9.5 pH water, right? So I'm going to drink this shortly. I'm going to go, 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 drink it all down like that, like that. Uh, so that's start that book. Oh, he showed me an exercise that was really interesting, you know, um, where it's like, a, it's like a push up, right? And you know how you go push up and down, but you also stay in that position and you sort of rotate one way, you rotate another because with push ups, you know, most people are into the, the six pack or the eight pack or whatever packs you got in the thing. But this uh, this movement is good. It's supposed to be, Grayson says he he, he did it. Well, Grayson's a genius. I, I believe him because I had nobody else has talked about this. Uh, but this this stuff goes to the, there's a, when I say muscles, but the sinews, whatever, under those muscles, in case they go in, it's different direction, you know, and so this thing addresses that. So you can basically, you're, you're coring up the uh, the muscles, be, well, you have your, your stomach muscles, which is where your core area, and this is the core behind the stomach muscles, which is closest to the core of your core. I don't know if it makes sense to you. Anyway, so uh, so that's it. Just want to give you the report. This is a report from me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.